Ah, legendary tales. The sword swinging, skull bashing, magic casting, loot grabbing rogue light that we've been waiting for. Should you buy it? The short answer is yes. The long answer. <laughs> Brothers and sisters in VR, Blade and Sorcery will forever hold a very special place in my heart and in the nightmares of my therapist. But there has always been one thing missing from that awesome experience. Sharing it with a dear friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this game is gonna be so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, you want some? Come on, come on, son of a bitch. I'm cheating. <laughs> <laughs> of course, mods exist for that very purpose in Blade and Sorcery. But Legendary Tales adds a depth to VR blade combat that I have yet to see rivaled. And it's only an alpha. But before I continue, I need to congratulate the devs on this epic easter egg. Hey! At least one person on the dev team is a fellow NSP fan. Huzzah! A man of quality! This game has all the earmarks of something great created by passionate VR gamers hell-bent on making the VR Blade Combat Sim they wanted to play. For those of you who plan on getting this game, for the love of his dark insanity birthing malevolence, do not skip the tutorial. Typically, if we have played several VR games before, we can easily figure stuff out on our own, and usually we would be correct. Not this time. Play the tutorial. Do it. Can I also say that as much as I love procedurally generated stuff, it is nice to have a handcrafted level to run around in. Progen engines are great sometimes, but Progens never grew up dreaming of dark castles and reading epic fantasy. Now the multiplayer. As soon as you boot up Legendary Tales, there is a giant disclaimer. Saying that if you're going to play multiplayer, then the one of your swashbuckling crew with the most godlike internet speeds should host. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But here is the issue. Hob and I live about this far apart. And yet, we saw little to no issues running in the same game. So we were side by side, ready to castle crash this undead party and bring home the loot. Or so we thought. Be very, very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck. I've been slowed. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Me too. This is hard as fuck. I died. Good luck. Scott, I'm running. I assumed, having cut my virtual teeth on Blade and Sorcery, I would be a bit more prepared. This game is unforgiving as hell to foolhardy courage. Aggro the room and the odds of survival drop significantly. Take it slow and think tactically, and you'll be all right. Weapon variety is always a big selling point for me. Each weapon having a mana sapping boost to its damage or some other handy little trick is a huge bonus. But the real power comes from the legendaries. A legendary weapon and a pinch of experience turns what were once impossible foes into little more than a good time. So yes, I highly recommend this game. It is still an alpha and already plays better than some of the built from the ground up VR games at full release. If you want swashbuckling undead smash in action with your friends, then look no further than Legendary Tales. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next one.